Now we move on to our next fight as we round up to the main event, which is a WBO Bantamweight Championship between Daniel Bosch and Budenese. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is a welterweight contest shot over six rounds between Isaac Nikwe and Gossin Amuzu. Judges by the size of the ring, Daniel Ablometi, Clement Ashon, Sule Isa, and the man in charge of this fight, Nathaniel Obeng. So we wait for the next bout as we reach. We surpass the halfway stage of the number of fights we have on tonight's show. We've done three, four to go. So the fourth fight coming up, and as you heard, our ring announcer announced there is a welterweight contest scheduled for six rounds. Isaac Nikwe versus Godson Amuzu. Another crack fight. Isaac Nikwe, the man they call Obama, of the Bronx team, and thereby, of course, coached by Coach Kaloko against Godson Amuzu of the Charles Quarte Boston Gymnasium. You all know it's Charles Quarte, the coach of the year. Handling Amuzu. So Nikwe, as you can see from the statistics, is coming with a weight of 149. Point two against the 149.1 against the 23 year old Amuzu. The undefeated Nikwe going for just the third career fight this evening. So from the blue corner, Gossin Amuzu. SDAR baby. 29-year-old Nikwe just taking just the third fight of his pro career. Still to come tonight, freezing back bones in a light heavyweight contest against David Okai. There will also be Azuma Mohamed versus Bernard Abe. Isaac Nikwe So two rising boxers about to take the big stage tonight which of them will end up standing tall Will it be Isaac Nick with the man they call Obama fighting out of the Bronx gym? Or Godson Amuzu fighting out of the Charles Quarter gym? Uh, if you look at the analysis of the two boxers, Isaac Nick aka Obama, he relies on resilience and his combination punching. Um, when Amuzu is a power puncher, he relies more on his power, so um, and and sometimes Amuzu tends to get fatigued as the um, fight wears on. So um, the boxer with a better game plan is probably going to carry the day. But uh, if if um, Obama is able to survive Amuzu's early onslaught, then he might as well wear him down and uh, go on to carry the day. But then if uh, he is not able to survive the early on, the early onslaught. Then more, uh, maybe uh, Amuzu will get him out of there within the first two or three rounds. 
But uh, um, let's see how it all plays out. Let's see the tactics and the, you know, the game plan that uh, both boxers have in store tonight. But definitely it's going to be a thrilling encounter no matter what happens. Uh, you are sure Obama will come to put on a show. And you are sure. So Amuzu from the Charles Quality Boxing Gym. He is accompanied tonight by assistant trainer of the Charles Quality Boxing Gym and officer of the Ghana Army, officer Bernard Tetenate. He is also the head coach of the Ghana Army Boxing Team. Okay. Tonight, you know that there will be some military kind of discipline in the ring. And also we have a Bronx Boxing James and Thoraj approaching Isaac Nikwe, the man nicknamed Obama. He is clad in some resplendent apparel, ash and orange with a, a cap on top of it, with a very, very beautifully colored boots to match. Wow, with a dark glasses as well. What a spectacle we have here. Isaac Nick with the man they call Obama. We live here on KA Sports Boxing from the Bokum Boxing Arena. My name is Sam Nanagun and I'm here with Prince Donald. Thank you so much, Sam Nanagun, for giving us all the preview. All we need to know about this particular fight. A crack encounter is expected here in this very ring. If you are not here, you have to make your way down here to the Bokum Boxing Arena to be part of the show. If you can't make it too, you are so privileged to be watching K Sports Boxing. And I can see Cecil Niteko Stanley, my co-journalist, a colleague now based in the UK, watching the show live from the UK and letting it us know on the comment section. Stanley, Let me remind you that this event is promoted by Legacy Promotions and also in partnership with Shiache Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is Dab the Golden Hands. Now to the boxers. From the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, he taped the scale at 149.1 pound. Out fighting out of the blue corner, he sported in black trunks, red canvas to match. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting from the Charles, Bo Charles Quarty Boxing Club, introducing to you, the boxer they called Rocky Tyson. Gotsy Amuzu. Now across the ring to the red corner. He's also sported in white and red trunks, black, canvas, and yellow socks to match. Ladies and gentlemen, he tipped the scale at 149.2 pounds. He had had two fights, one or two by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the Bronx Boxing Club, introducing the boxer called Obama. I see Referee in charge of this fight, Nathaniel Obey. Okay, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. Obey my instructions and defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. There you go. It's fight number four of tonight's show here in Bukum. It's the Gordy Hounds fight. Now. One. Isaac Nikwe, aka Obama, in the red or pink, whilst Abuzo is in the black with the white trimming. This fight is expected to be a very, very tough one between two fighters, both with a mission. Abuzo in the black with only one career with it, and Nikwe taking just the third fight of his career. Perfect. Nikwe showing and glimpses some brilliance here. Sharp, sharp, piercing jabs and uh, powerful hooks that uh, have got the attention and respect of Amuzu at this point. Amuzu can't with a left, right hook, but uh, 
Negro comes in the Monday for Obama. Wonder for the state right here. And the book must now be an I think Nick Wade, the man they call Obama against the Gossin and Muzu, round number one, is the on. And Muzu with the left jab. He goes with the, to the body, powerful left shot there from Amuzu. He goes in again, another right to the face of Nick Wade. Nick Wade, the man with the longer reach. And of course, they had that advantage, but Amuzu is on favor at all. He's the one landing the crucial punches at this point in time. But Nikwe quickly tries to come back. He's still Amuzu. He has some very sharp jabs. You will not see them coming. He goes again to the body of Nikwe. Amuzu trying to, you know, take control of this fight early here in round number one. Then he goes once again. Oh. Multiple combinations there from Godson and Muzu. The man in the black. And Nikwe. Muzu also have some, you know, ranked manship skills there. He tries to maneuver his way. He keeps moving towards. And that's another powerful right shot there that got Nikwe there. Nikwe. He's in a fight of his life at this very early stage of this particular fight. Two boxers they need to watch their heads to prevent any headbutts. That's also very, very important. You don't want anybody getting any unnecessary injuries. Oh, Amuzu still going strong, still going to the body. He's fighting out of the Charles Quarty Boxing Gym, one of the best boxing gyms in this country. Remember when we had the first season of the Ghana Professional Boxing League, the Charles Quarty Gym that is very victorious. And they are both a person from their team also in every tournament. They are the best team to be the one with us. Of course, of course, they can do it. They have some very, very good boxers coming over there. We have Emmanuel Maule, Pfizer, Abubaka. We have uh, George Akoto, Akainete and a host of other very, very good boxers out of the Charles Courtney Boxing Stable. So round one is in the books as we get set to begin round number two. Of round two. As we saw in round number one, this is a fight to keep an eye on. Nikwe has arrived in this particular round two, determined to also fight back because to me, clearly, Round one went the way of Amuzu. The show continues. Two crack fighters. A very good left there. That caught Nikwe from Amuzu. Amuzu with another very good left shot there. Always on the lookout to surprise you with some jabs, some punches, some hooks. And there he went again. He actually is a counter puncher. And a good left shot there to the body from Amuzu.
So, the action continues in this round number two of this our particular four fight of tonight's Kabudo here in Bukum Boxing Arena. Nikwe versus Amuzu. Amuzu in the black, dominating the fight so far against Nikwe. Who goes out of the way this time? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure Amuzu is dominating. Um, the fight is fairly balanced. I mean, both fighters have been having their moments, but then neither boxer has really dominated. A very, 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 very unsportsmanlike uh, attitude. Uh, there from uh, Nikwe, the man they call Obama, I think the referee should have somehow cautioned him. Very, very unprofessional conduct right there. But if I resume, uh, steam jams uh, by uh, Nikwe and uh, some body shots from uh, Amuzu. Fire continuum buses uh, moving uh, into the center of the four square circle. Nikwe comes with a uh, jam misses, but Amuzu comes back also misses one And Nikwe. Starting to take advantage of this massive height advantage here as we come down to the final seconds of this round number two. A close encounter here in Bukum as the bell sounds to bring proceedings to a main second stand. The last of which will be the WBO Africa Championship between Ghanaians, Daniel Selassie God, up against Kisle Bundu Hassi, the man from Benin, who is mostly based in Ghana. He made his career in Ghana, he started his career in Ghana, and he passed as a college man. My very good friend in Australia, who we met in the Commonwealth Games in 2018. Is okay, that out. Round three. We got that ready for the commencement of round number three. Nikwe. <laughs> Nikwe in the red versus Amuzu in the black. Nikwe goes with a powerful shot, but Amuzu fights back. Amuzu, and uh, Nikwe, got Amuzu there with some points, I got, I got Amuzu in water. Yes, I was telling you earlier that I will not advise Nikwe to trade with Amuzu because Amuzu is very heavy handed. Meanwhile, And Nikwe that's exactly what Nikwe wants, wants, wants to do in this round, as you can see he's still doing. And then uh, he catches Amuzu with a rapid punch. Nikwe versus Amuzu. It got heated up there at the beginning of this round number three, but it's cooling down a bit at this stage. Prince, I told you earlier on before the fight began that Amuzu had power, and that if uh, um, Nikwe is not able to contain that power, he might uh, get out of there. But sometimes they get into the uh, lifting that around, he tires out. So probably, let's see what happens. If uh, Nikwe is uh, able to contain him, uh, Something might be up his sleeves as the fight wears on. So Nikwe definitely or his corner must be listening to you very much to work to, to work because we saw when he tried to fight Amuzu there. He, he appeared to him talk about as he now is weighing uh, his fight, his punches and not going all out. But fighting tactically, you can see him rising to the occasion here and getting back into this particular fight. The show continues in round number two, number three, sorry. Three of six. Amuzu versus Kwe. Nikwe, sorry. A welterweight Kabudo here in Bukom. And Amuzu runs again, goes on the offensive by Nikwe where there's a storm there. It's Nikwe in the red versus Amuzu in the black. The man, Nikwe, who fights out of the bronze gym, taking on the boxer of the Charles Quarte boxing gymnasium. I 
think I think that um, Nick Way has neglected his uh, defensive duties. So when you are fighting against a heavy-handed guy like Amuzu, there is no way you should neglect your defense. I mean, you should always hold your guard high up there. Nikwe seems to be a bit fatigued, but he's moving quite well as of now. There's 10 second club goals. Amuzu still on the chase. Nikwe jabbing nicely and moving. And the bell goes. The bell goes for the end of Anomatu. able to weave out of the trouble and uh, stay in the fight to see the end of that round. So that went by the highlights of that round number three. And a bit of a swelling on under the left eye of Amuzu. But uh, his corner men are really working on it. Uh, Officer Bernard Tetenati in the corner of uh, Amuzu and also Samuel Ama in the corner of uh, Isaac Nikwe, the man they call Obama. And remember Obama's uh, mantra heading uh, into the elections where he became president. Yes, we can. Can Isaac Nikwe repeat that, that refrain? Obama, yes, can he? The Obama in the boxing ring in Accra, Ghana at this particular moment trying to learn if he's listening to the words of Nan, Sam Nana Gold from his, his mentor, the main Obama, Barack, the former U.S. president, who said, yes, we can. Nobody believed he could become the president of the U.S. at that point in time, but eventually he made history. Can Nikwe do the same here tonight? So can Nikwe surmount this uphill task of uh, defeating a, a powerhouse like a God's in Amuzu? Only time will tell. Definitely, definitely. And now we are in the fourth stanza of six. Edging ever closer to the ultimate verdict. It doesn't look like a fight that will end in a stoppage at all. It will surely be decided on points. And uh, a very good left one there from Amuzu. Nearly got Nikwe rattled, but he's still standing firm. And he's still known. You know, using his guard, he believes he has a longer reach, so and before Amuzu could get to him, he could land before him. Uh, Amuzu is a crafty puncher. Nikwe, Nikwe's defense is very porous, and uh, if he doesn't take care, he might pay for it, but uh, he's also landing some telling punches on Amuzu. Amuzu is really that's really that was another, another, another very good one the right one from Nikwe. yeah and Abuzu appears to be you know getting tired he's not so energized as he, he was in the beginning prince i told you i gave you the, all those hints earlier on that Abuzu is very powerful for the first few rounds once you survive that early scare you could uh, dismantle dismember him uh, and pick him apart and it's happening right here, but it's still in round number four. If he can't go beyond four rounds or four or more rounds, then he really has a big problem as, uh, with his stamina as a boxer. But the action continues here in the final 34 seconds that is of this particular round as Amuzu goes to work once again. Godstein Amuzu. And uh, it looks like Isaac Nikwe has really learned the art of clinching here. He must, when he's in the, in the ring against a man who has proven to be a terrific puncher, Godstein Amuzu. Amuzu corners Nikwe, throws one, two punches there. And look at the antics of Amuzu. Amuzu also displays some antics there. I was not watching the Nikwe part. As round number four comes to a close, it's still a close contest here. 
no HDB, nobody in control. Which way is it going? I'm too glad not to be among the judges for this particular fight. Is the golden fight, golden hands fight card here at the Bukon Boxing Arena, presented by Xianche Boxing Promotions, headed by Honorable Ni Okai Laye, the former member of parliament for Amasaman in the Greater Accra region, and Legacy Fights Promotions, headed by Seconds Out Papani. Round five. This is actually the American show, and there is a collab between the two new boxing outfits. It's headed, headlined, of course, by WBO Africa Championship. Daniel Sellers goes against the Beninois for the Hesse. But currently ongoing is the World Tower Six Rounder between the man for the Bronze Boxing Club, Isaac Nikwe in the red, against Godson Amuzu from the and it's Nikwe landing some terrific punches here in round number five. A powerful right hand to the face of uh, Amuzu from uh, Nikwe. Powerful, powerful shots there from the man they call Obama. And the praise, I think, at this point, uh, we can say to uh, Nikwe, Obama, yes, we can. Yes, it's, 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 it's time for uh, Nikwe to really, you know, take control of the fight if he, he wants to end up victorious because. We are witnessing his opponent, you know, appearing Right upper hooks. 
So our ranger indicates that this is actually going to be the final round of this particular fight. As Amuzu remains with that to his, his seconds out, his six, so and the final round. All to himself in the ring, dancing whilst waiting for the commencement of the final round here. Final round of this is a very, very enthralling affair. Isaac Nikwe in the red and blue trans and uh, Gosen Amuzu in the black trans. Uh, it is uh, Charles Porte against the uh, bronze boxing gym. Isaac Nick with the money call Obama here is uh, firmly in the driving seat at this point. He was in trouble early on in the fight, but uh, he's been able to recover and uh, taking firm control. But uh, Amuzu is still in this fight. I told you that if he's able to land a haymaker, a roundhouse punch, uh, it might as well be game over for. Uh, Nikwe here, and Amuzu goes to the left once again, but fails to get the opponent. Wonderful display there from uh, Nikwe, but Amuzu comes back with a hefty right hand. Uh, Nikwe has to be very, very careful here. Amuzu clearly will now need to go all out because the fight is winding down. We are barely two minutes left in this fight. Round number six, the very final round. As and Amuzu is really going for it. He's going for it. Definitely we can see. But Nikwe is ready. Amuzu with a, another left shot there. Another good one there from Amuzu. Amuzu going for the kill in these final stages of this particular fight. He goes again for a powerful red that cuts the head of Nikwe there. Nikwe tries to clinch, but Nikwe, Amuzu wouldn't budge. Amuzu clearly getting tired but determined to finish this once and for all. It's another good rider from Amuzu. Nikwe clinches for dear life. It's a good fight here in this particular fight, round number six. It has been our best fight so far of tonight's show. A give and take situation, and the bully fighters go in the distance. And uh, both fighters appear very tired, both on wobbly legs. Who will finish hard? Who will get the vote of the judges at this point in time? Who will win this fight? Is it going to be Nikwe in the red or Amuzu in the black? Final 30 seconds of this fight. It's Amuzu versus Nikwe. Amuzu goes to the body with the shot. And uh, Nikwe appears to be in some discomfort here. Will Amuzu close finish this show? But Amuzu equally is tired, both on wobbly legs. Who will finish strongly? Ten seconds. Both very tired, very on wobbly legs. Who will finish strongly in this very fight? The Westerway contest has our And the bar is over. Bar is over. Isaac Nikwe. What a fight! What a set up! What a thriller! What a night! As we, as we, as as we as we right the, the replay of the particular final round, the all action round number six, a round in which Amuzu went all out, determined to carry the night. And you can see some hefty punches there from Amuzu, but Nikwe was equally up to the occasion so the fight is over we will wait for the official verdict that was fight number four of tonight's show here at the Buko boxing arena in the ghana capital accra presented by Shiancha boxing and legacy fight promotions matchmakers for this particular show Michael G. Akoto and One Life Augustus Dodu. Who is in the on your shots currently?
in his dressing room, getting ready. Which is the master technician himself, Lawrence Kaloko. That's Daniel Gosh and his team in the dressing room, getting ready for the big fight tonight. The WBO Africa Championship. That's Tim Gosh, Coach Lawrence Loco. Daniel Gosh, the 24 year old, former Ghana champion. Reigning UBO Africa champion going for the WBO Africa championship tonight. But now we wait the verdict. Isaac Nikwe in your shorts currently enjoying himself, believing he has won. Dancing, having all the fun in the ring. But we wait to see if. What he believes that he has won will be confirmed by the ringside officials. We still await the official verdict to know who won this particular fight between Godstein Amuzu in the black and Isaac Nikwe, the man they call Obama, the boxing Obama of the Bronx boxing gym. Who will emerge victorious? Is it a man from the Charles Water boxing gym, Amuzu, or the man from the Bronx boxing club, Lee Kwe? Ring announcer, Mustafa Nete, will give us the official declaration. Ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you that this event is promoted by Legacy Boxing Promotions and Shiache Boxing Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is heavily sponsored by Treehouse Bar and Restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, before I go to the scorecard, let me acknowledge some dignitaries in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a business mogul. He is also a, the founder and CEO of XWAL UT Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together for retired Captain Prince Amuabing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is also the CEO of Legacy Rights Sports Management and Promotions. He is also the son of the ex president. Mahama. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Sharaf Mahama. Also, ladies and gentlemen, this event is also supported by MOBA 2003 Year Group. Can we put our hands together for them? They are here. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have 2001 2002 year group of a disco Santa Claus who are supporting Honorable Emmanuel Ni Lai. Let's put our hands together for them. Uh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the two boxes. It is a welterweight contest shadow for six rounds between Isaac Nikwe and Godson Amuzu. Ladies and gentlemen, we exhausted all the six rounds and therefore we go on to the scorecard. Judge one scored about 6-0-6-4. Judge two scored about 5-5-5-9. Jet 3 scored about 5-8-5-6. The winner by a split point decision. The boxer they called Obama Isaac Nikwe. You make 